everyone welcome back to multi magic channel in today's video i am going to show you how to create a professional auto generated documentation for your python projects using spinx in the previous video we have discussed the same for the node.js projects but now we are discussing for the python projects okay so to do that we need to install spinx and spinx rtd theme so spinx is a tool which will generate automatic documentation using comments and spinx rtd theme uh, by the name itself it is uh, uh, it is able we we can able to understand that it's a team which we are following okay it's a team so yep we have a simple math operations dot py here that is uh, that has only two functions that is add and subtract okay and here we are also defining the math operations module name okay so basically we have a single module and we have two functions inside that module okay so now to set up spinks what we need to do is we need to quick start spinks first okay we need to quick start spinks let me show you the command for you so spinks quick start docs if you mention this if you run this command inside your project it will create a docs folder basically so <coughs> yeah inside this docs folder we have some files uh, we have some source files to generate this doc and if we build this docs folder i mean we also have a make file right if we build it so we'll get this folder this is where our auto generated documents will be located okay so i'm trying to go as simple as possible uh, so yeah let us go inside this source folder in this source folder we have this conf.py this is where we will mention all the all configurations and all extensions whatever it is necessary for uh, generating this automatic documentation okay so yeah uh, here we have generated for which source files we have to generate the documentation where do we have to uh, check the comments from in which source files i have to check the comments so basically we have our source file inside this source file right inside this source folder right that is math operations dot py so i gave the path for that source directory okay and after that we have some other options that is project copyright and all and also we can specify the proper releases and all too and here if you observe we have this extensions right so basically in the extensions section we have included this pinks dot x dot auto doc in the same way we mentioned this other plugins that is napoleon and uh, view code so basically this auto doc uh, is responsible for generating documentation for doc strings okay and uh, basically this is a uh, uh, the doc strings whatever we are going to specify that should be in google style and this view code is basically used to include the links to the source code yeah so also as i told we also modified the uh, sys path to make sure that we have to uh, consider the docs whatever they're in all source files which are which are inside the source folder okay so now we have another file that is index.rst file so basically this is a root document for our spinks documentation and also uh, we have included a talk tree directive to list the contents of the documentation in this case we have a reference to this math operations module okay that is this this math operations dot rst so now the math operations dot rst file is where we include the documentation for our math operations module include the documentation for each and every module as a separate file so, so for now we have math operations module right so that is why we have this math operations dot rst if we write many other modules we can will have uh, a separate rst file for all those or else you can also do like this uh, you can combine all modules and create one rst file that also you can do so we use this auto module directive to tell that uh, to tell to spin a spins that to generate documentation for the math operations module including all members undocumented members and also inheritance and all 
okay so basically we are specifying the rules what to what to be what to be there in the document okay and finally we have this modules.rst file so which lists all modules in our project so here as i am telling you that uh, we have this math operations.rst right so in the same way we will have multiple uh, modules here we will specify all modules in this modules.rst file so all right uh, enough of the explanation so let us generate the documentation first uh, so to do that we have to open a terminal let me copy the path of this I'll open this in my terminal I'm using warp because uh, you know in regular terminal uh, it is very tough to actually it is very tough to remember all these commands and all so in this warp I can uh, see suppose i'll show you if i return spings and if i click on basically i have used spings quick start recently so that is why it is showing so if i click up arrow on this so it will show whatever the commands i have used using spings okay so this is what i have used before to build this documentation okay so let us run it oh sorry i haven't uh, activated my virtual environment let let me also activate that so slash bing slash activate okay so now the virtual environment is activated so now let us run the same command again see uh, actually we haven't changed any source files right so basically the html pages are in doc slash build okay so let us go inside this build and this is what the f uh, this is what the folder which has been built automatically okay so let us open this index.html file this is the auto auto generated documentation for the source code whatever we have written okay so let me keep it aside and let me show you the source code so basically this is a math operations module and this is the description of the function we we also told that we have two parameters and the return type of that is this okay so the same goes with this subtract function also now let us open this so now see here in this contents we have this math operation module right so inside this math operation module we have add and subtract okay so basically this add function what does it does uh, the description of that is nothing but it adds two numbers right so after that the parameters of that and the return type of that in the same way the subtract also uh, uh, the description of the subtract function is also auto generated with using the comments only if you click on this source we can see the source also uh, basically it is not necessary as i told in the previous video that uh, there is a developer documentation basically the developer will have the source code by him uh, with himself only right so we don't need to uh, we can disable this option okay so yeah and here it is our professional auto generated documentation you can see the module description the functions and all the details uh, we provided in the doc strings so this document can be easily shared with your team or included in your project websites and all so yep that's it for today's video i hope you find this tutorial very helpful if you did please uh, give it a thumbs up and share it uh, with the fellow developers and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos drop them in the comments below uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye